So that's perfect right there. Just, it's not breaking the paper, but it's just set in so you can get that drywall mud. Hi, I'm Brad with Skyline Construction, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the DeWalt drywall screw gun. Um, I love this gun just because it's nice and light, it's small, and it has a really great attachment with it. So we'll get into that in a second here. Uh, the model number on this is DCF620, and we're running a slim battery on it. It's got a really great bell hook on the side. Um, you've got depth of adjustment in the nozzle here. So very easy to adjust. And then um, to attach this, I'll show you how to do that. You just unlock it, with the twist, pull that off. So we're done with that. Then you put in a longer extension bit that just clips in. To get this out, if you're wondering, you have to pull this collar back and this will pull out that way. So it's just simply pull in, pull out. Very easy. So then this is the attachment. This is the DCF6201. So this is an automatic uh, drywall screw gun attachment. I think if you're drywalling, you got to have this. Um, this is by far one of my most favorite drywall guns out there. I have the uh, Senko, which is a good gun, but this one's just a lot better. So slap on a slim battery here, which keeps it nice and balanced. And then for the screws, I'm using the Senko brand. These are number six inch and a quarters. And you can pretty much buy these anywhere. Rona sells them. So they're just really handy to, to pick up anywhere. So the screws slide in to the bottom here like this. And they clip in and that's basically it. So I just got a little mock up here, some drywall on a couple pieces of wood and uh, and just pound some screws in. So if you want to come in here, you can kind of see on the side, we've got the depth of adjustment wheel right here. And then um, if you are screwing and you put a screw in poorly, the nice thing about this gun is you just pinch the sides and the attachment comes off and then you can drive the screw in further or you can take it out. So that's what I really like about this gun. Um, and that's basically it. What else do we, oh yeah, sorry. We have on the side here, um, right here, this button. This will adjust for your screw length. So right now I've got it set for one and a quarter and I flip it over, all the markings are on the side. So there's a positive stop in here. So I've got one inch down all the way up to two inch. So positive stops all along the way. So we'll just set it at one and a quarter and we're good to go. Okay, so let's drive some screws. And the way you hold it is just like this. A lot of guys might want to hold it like this, but if you hold it like this, then it's an extension of your of your arm. So when you're pushing, you don't get tired. If you're holding it like this, you don't get a very good straight uh, contact point and you'll always be skipping out on the screws. Um, so you really wanna have your hand up in here and then use your bottom two fingers to pull the trigger, okay? So let's give it a whirl. So you can see super easy. It's a set a little bit deep. So I'll just adjust just on the side there. But super easy to put screws in. So that's perfect right there. Just, it's not breaking the paper, but it's just set in so you can get that drywall mud. Okay, so now I'll go super fast and you can see how quickly we can pound screws in. 
So incredibly fast. Um, you just can't beat it. You can't screw drywall that quickly uh, by hand. There's no way. Um, this, this method is just so much faster. The only downside to using this gun with this setup and these screws is that the screws are a lot more expensive than your typical box of screws, you know, loose screws. Um, but I think if you're, you know, if you're um, doing ceiling, I would definitely recommend this because it just frees up your hand so you can hold and screw as opposed to holding with your head or tacking in with nails or whatever. Um, just not having to load screws is just the smarter way to do this. Um, I mean, if you're a professional drywaller and you've been doing your way for years and years, you know, that's, that's great. Um, but I think once you've tried this, it's, it's just the only way to go. Um, what else can I say about this gun? Oh, there is a light here as well. Forgot to point that out. And that shoots right up into your area that you're screwing. So it's kind of handy. You know, if you're in closets or whatever, it's nice to have a little light. And that's the 20 volt max XR. And it's brushless. Okay guys, so if you like the review, please subscribe, hit that notify bell. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to answer some questions if you have any. But until next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.